Hi, I'm Tanner with TransWest Truck Trailer RV here in Frederick, Colorado. Today we're going to go over a new inventory unit. This is a Cimarron Lone Star stock combo. This trailer is 24 foot on the floor, 6'10 wide and 7 foot 1 tall. The cool thing about this trailer is we kind of took a stock combo, we set it up on a slant wall so it can kind of cater more towards people who are going to be hauling horses one day, cow or sheep, you know, swine, stuff like that the next. It's really set up to be an all around trailer for anything you're going to do. We'll start off here at the front tack where the most of your storage is going to be that's non-livestock. Um, the first thing you'll notice is we went ahead and we did a bigger door as comparable to you know, other brands or even Cimarron's with standard doors. So this is a 42 inch wide door. The reason we like doing these bigger 42 inch wide doors on a swing out saddle rack setup is because as you'll see with this swung out, you're still going to have plenty of room to get by that. So you can have your saddle swung out and you can still get in and out of this tack room without having to try and fight by your saddles. The cool thing about this swing out is it's fully adjustable. You can move these whichever elevation you want on this swing out bar. Or you can take these off super easy if you only want a couple. If you want to add more, you can easily add more to this as well. The other cool thing about it is it runs off a gas piston. So once you get your big heavy saddles on here, it can weigh this down pretty good. So with that gas piston, once you kind of start pulling this back in, that piston's going to grab this and just pull it in for you. Same thing when you pull this out big heavy saddles on there, you'll get it to a certain point and that piston will help pull those saddles out for you. So it's really handy, makes it really easier on you guys. And then of course, below that 42 inch door, we'll go ahead and we do a step up on all of our trailers. We've been ordering all of our inventory trailers with a fold up step, just because it eliminates about an eight foot bigger step for you guys. And it can be, again, you're hauling heavy stuff, you're hauling heavy grain bags, totes, stuff like that. So we want you guys to have a little bit easier access into this tack room. On your 42 inch door, it also allows us to mount blanket bars on that door with it being 42 inches. So you will have your same gas piston operated swing out blanket bar. The gas piston, I mean your weight's really not going to be a factor on your blankets, but I like using that gas piston on here just because it's really going to help hold your blankets tight over against this door. Um, that way your blankets aren't sliding off while you're traveling. That piston's going to keep pressure on those blankets on that door so they're not moving around while you're traveling. Below that we do have your three compartmentalized um, brush box. The carpent, they make compartments in here and also drill holes in the bottom of those compartments. So that way if you have a, you know, a fly spray, a show sheen bottle, anything like that that cracks, freezes, breaks, or starts to leak, it's going to contain it to one of those three compartments and allow it to drain out the bottom. That way all your stuff doesn't get nasty. We know accidents happen, especially you know, states like Colorado where it gets super, super cold at night, but you guys are still using your trailer in you know, late fall, early spring. Um, it's going to allow your stuff to stay contained and clean. In this front tack room, we have a three and a half foot short wall, which makes it about an eight or a seven and a half foot long wall. So you're going to have plenty of tack space in this tack room. On your short wall wall, we have your lipped shelf. So up here, this is a lip shelf. So whatever you put on here, it's not going to roll off. It's not going to slide off while you're traveling. There's rubber underneath there that's kind of grippy to kind of hold whatever you want from rolling around in that tray. And of course, below that, we do do your clothes rod. You know, you're going to be hanging show shirts, stuff like that, slickers. You can hang whatever you want to keep it kind of off the ground and out of the way. It's kind of what we try to do when we set up these inventory units is set them up so people can haul as much stuff as they want without it getting you know on the floor in their way. We want it to be usable and feasible for you guys to travel. On your deck, it is a fully carpeted gooseneck deck and drop wall. Again, we know some people are going to crash in these things from time to time for a night or two over the weekend. Um, we want it to be as comfortable for you guys as possible, but also usable as a tack space. So if you're not sleeping here, you don't have a mattress in here. It's fully carpeted to protect that trailer no matter what you guys are storing up there. It's not going to chip away at that aluminum or painted sheets because it is carpeted. Below that we do have your split boot box. Um, the thing I like about these boot boxes is again keeping storage, keeping your stuff from rolling around on the floor, but it also serves as a nice step up into that gooseneck. If you are storing stuff up there that you need to grab easily, you have a nice step. Or again, if you are sleeping up there, you have a nice step to get into bed at night or whatever it may be, but we like to set these up that way for you guys. On your partition wall, we do have your two rows of bridle hooks, um, one row up high, one row down low, fully carpeted behind those bridle hooks. We like to fully carpet it behind those bridle hooks for two reasons. One, it's going to protect your bits and bridles from you know getting scratched up by the trailer, and then vice versa, it's going to protect your trailer from getting scratched up by your bits and bridles. But the second benefit of it is it's going to keep it really quiet for your horses. If we didn't have this carpet here and your bridles are rubbing back and forth on that wall, they're going to rattle, they're going to ding, they're going to make some noise for your horses on the other side of this wall. So we like to carpet that to really dampen that noise and kind of make it a quieter ride for your horses, which using a Cimarron, you, if you've had one before, you're thinking about buying one, 
your horses are going to be super comfortable in the Cimarron. For one, it's going to be super, super quiet. Cimarron does some latch mechanisms and stuff like this carpet behind anywhere that'll make noise. I'll show you guys as we walk around this trailer some features that's really going to make it a quiet ride for your horses. And then because we did a slant wall setup on this trailer, it allows us to put a 25 gallon quarter water tank situated behind that saddle rack. So it's kind of out of the way. It's using up that dead space that you're not really going to have access to. But it's giving you the ability to be able to haul water with you wherever you go. You're taking your water from home. Your horses are used to drinking it. You're not having to worry about finding a fairgrounds or a gas station that'll let you use their water, especially in these winter months. A lot of them will shut their water down. So it's real handy that you'll be able to take that water from home with you guys. We're going to weigh down this trailer. It is a silver metallic color on this trailer. It's a really popular color, probably white, silver, and then that charcoal, that little bit darker, darker silver color we do is our most popular Cimarron colors. You get a really better view of that silver metallic as we work our way around to the other side of this trailer. But moving down to your tie outs on this trailer, it is a Lone Star stock combo. So again, you're going to have plexiglass and your inserts, um, your plexiglass tracks all the way around this trailer. No windows on a Lone Star model. That's what makes it a Lone Star model. We do do a 16 inch awning light on each side of your tie outs. Again, wanting to give you guys enough light to be able to saddle, tie out, feed, check on your horses, whatever you need to do in the middle of the night, early mornings. We want you guys to have enough light to be able to do that safely and efficiently. So you'll have that 16 inch awning light up high on this side. You'll also have a mirror image of that on the other side. And then down low, we do have your three tie out rings. The cool thing about it is if you're running hot in summer months and you have your plexiglass out, there is a plexiglass storage tray up front that I forgot to mention to you guys. So when you pull this plexiglass out, you're not throwing it in a tack room. You're not throwing it on the floor where it gets step on and broke. Cimarron puts a handy little tray up front that'll perfectly fit all this plexiglass and keep it up high and out of the way so it avoids getting broke when you're not using it. But if you do have that plexiglass out, you will have your support rings running you know, vertically on this trailer and you can tie out to any of those support rings as well. So with that plexiglass out, you guys are gonna have plenty of options as where you can tie your horses. It is a 610 wide trailer, so you're gonna get that full length running board. The Lone Star models um, fenders or fender flares are a little bit different than the North Star models. They're a little more extruded, a little more rugged looking to kind of fit that uh, stock trailer look. And then of course, down low, we do have your aluminum wheels. And I want to point out, we'll get around to the front. I'll show you guys that spare tire, but it's flipped around to kind of protect it so you won't see it as well. But the spare on this trailer will match these tires and wheels on any Cimarron you guys get. So you can be confident if you do get a flat, get a blowout, and you have to change a tire, your tires and wheels will still match on this trailer. They are nitrogen filled tires. That's what that green cap means on all these tires. We get an, every single tire we get from Cimarron on a trailer is coming nitrogen filled. The reason we do that is because it's really going to help you guys prevent blowouts, prevent flats, and it's really going to help prevent you guys from having to get out of the truck and check your tires all the time. What nitrogen does is it pretty much eliminates 99% of the oxygen in those tires. When oxygen gets cold or heats up to a different temperature than you fill that, it's really going to change the PSI levels in those tires to where if you do nitrogen, it's not going to fluctuate as much and you're not going to have to worry about you know, getting those low tires, getting those flats, and it's really going to add to the life of your tires as well. Coming around to the load side of this trailer, it is kick matted all the way on this back door. Again, if you have a horse, cattle, anything loaded in this back, that kick mats, for one, it's going to keep it quieter for your horse. It's going to keep that metal from banging around if you have horses or cattle, you know, banging around in this trailer. But it's also going to help protect this trailer as well. This rubber is going to eat up lots of kicks, lots of paws, stuff like that, before it'll ever make its way to the actual sheeting on this trailer. So that way, if you have a horse that kicks, they're not kicking straight to the wall of the trailer. That mat's going to eat up a lot of that. Up high, we do have another six, or that'd be actually an eight inch awning load light. Again, giving you guys enough light, mornings, late nights, stuff like that. We want you guys to be able to see what you're doing when you're loading and offloading to keep you safe, but we also want to keep your horses safe. So we want them to have enough light to be able to see what they're doing when they're loading and offloading off this trailer as well. The floor in this trailer, again, it's the industry's strongest floor. This floor is built on four inch centers. So no matter what you're hauling, cattle, horses, whatever it may be, they're going to be standing directly over support beam. Most trailers are manufactured, you know, 12 inch centers, maybe even 16 inch centers. Cimarron is the strongest floor on the market with their four inch centered floor. So you can be confident that this floor is going to last you guys a lifetime as long as you guys take care of it. It is rubber matted over that floor. Again, dampening some of that sound. If you're hauling a bunch of cattle, a bunch of horses, and they're tromping around on a, just a plain bare metal floor, it is going to make a lot of noise. 
Cattle don't care so much, but since we set this up as a slant wall, we know you guys are going to be using it for horses a little bit too. Um, so by doing that, we throw these rubber mats down so when you are hauling horses, that sound's not going to vibrate through that floor and really affect your horses at all. This is a 24 foot combo. So again, you're in your, your front tack's about three and a half foot on your short wall. So back here, you're going to get 21 foot and some change on your long wall of this stock area and then you'll get about 17 foot and some chains on your short wall. So still plenty of stock space. You can easily haul four or five horses, maybe even six if you head and tail them like I've seen some people do. So it's a great little setup in here. The way we set it up with our gates is we set it up with kind of a stud wall as your first stall. So this is gonna be a four foot stud wall front stall. Again, it is a full height stud wall. We kind of set these up for horses. I'll show you a little bit as we walk around this trailer, but we kind of wanted a stud wall partition similar to what you'd see on any standard horse trailer. We made it full height again, so you can stall, you know, stock hay, feed, grain, whatever it may be in that front stall if you're not using it. It sets up really handy with that escape door in that front stall. But again, it's a Lone Star stock combo. We know you guys are gonna be using it for plenty of stuff, so we didn't want to throw a hay rack on there. We wanted to give you the guys the options to haul horses. We wanted you to give the guys the options to haul tack, feed, grain, and stuff up front but also have the option to fully open these up if you wanted just a full open stock trailer or if you wanted to compartmentalize it a little bit and just have you know a 50-50 cut, we do have that center cut gate as well. So you can easily set it up to where it's a wide open trailer like I have set up right now or if you wanted a 50-50 compartment, you can run that center cut gate and easily haul cattle in here as well. You know, you have your back compartment, your front compartment, everything will flow really nice. We're talking about keeping it comfortable and quiet for your horses. One of the things Cimarron does is any latch point on this trailer is going to be metal on plastic, not metal on metal. So we have these OHM plastic uh, I, catches up top on this trailer. So again, you'll have a metal pin that goes in those catches and you can see just how quiet it is on that trailer. It's not going to rattle at all. And then below that, what that gate rests on is actually a plastic cap on a, the aluminum frame of this trailer. So again, Eliminating any vibration, anything like that, it'll give your horses a really smooth and quiet ride while they're traveling. As we step up in this trailer, I can show you guys again another one of those quiet ride features. Any Cimarron latch you get on a trailer, whether it be a horse trailer, this stock trailer, a Windstar, anything like that, it's going to be set up with the same OHM plastic mechanism right here. So again, that metal on plastic, it's gonna wear a lot better, it's gonna last a lot longer than metal on metal wheel, but again, it's gonna keep this trailer super quiet for your horses. That plastic on that metal is not gonna rattle as much as, for example, a metal on metal. If you've ever been in an all pipe metal trailer with the latches and heard that sucker rolling down the road, it rattles, it makes a lot of noise, it can stress animals out pretty quickly. So by doing all these quiet ride features Cimarron does for you guys, they're making it a really quiet ride for your horses, which in turn is going to make it a really quiet ride for you when you get on them wherever you go. It is an escape door front. So again, with that first four foot partition shut, you can easily access whatever you're storing in here. Or even if you just wanted to check on your animals while you're hauling, you can open the small door, check on your animals, pull hay out if you need to, if you're storing hay in this front stall. But it gives you the ability to access this trailer from two different points. If you're not wanting to offload all your cattle and you have them in those back two slots, but you want to check on them, make sure nothing's laying down on top of each other, anything like, wall, like that while you're going to the sale barn, you can easily open this door, step in this front stall, and check on your animals while you're hauling them. This trailer does have LED lighting. You'll have one LED light in your front tack, and then you'll have one for each of your bigger compartments in this back tack. So if your gate's shut, these lights should hit in two of your bigger compartments. So again, giving you guys the option, if you don't want to open this trailer up to check on them, you can easily climb, climb up on one of those running boards, click the lights on, and be able to check on whatever you're hauling in this trailer. Then of course, no matter what trailer you get from Cimarron, this is the Lone Star model. If you get a North Star, a Wind Star, anything like that, it is going to come standard with the insulated roof for, through the whole length of this trailer. So even your tack room is going to have that insulated roof. The Lone Star model, they kind of finish it out more, again, as a stock trailer, so you're not going to have insulated walls, anything like that. If you go to a North Star model, they are fully insulated, set up more for horses, but we wanted to give you guys the versatility on this trailer. Coming down your driver's side, your head side of this trailer, it's going to be pretty much a mirror image of that hip side. You're going to have your three tie rings down low, your plexiglass tracks with inserts up high, and then again, another 16 inch awning light to give you guys enough light on this side of the trailer. If you were tying out, feeding out, or separating your animals on both sides of the trailer, we wanted to give you guys enough light to be able to see what you were doing. But here is a better outside view of that escape door. 
We do run a chest bar on all of our escape doors. Just because if you are hauling a horse, cattle, whatever it may be in that front stall and they start leaning on this door, we wanted to give a little more support. So if you have a horse in here, their chest is gonna be pushing on this bar and not on the outside door, not flexing that door. We wanna just add a little more support for that trailer. Cool thing about it is a lot of the times when you run butt bars, a lot of them are clipped and chained in that you have to unsnap. Well, if you have a horse that likes to lean, that can be a little rough sometimes to try and get that done. So Cimarron did kind of a ball and joint deal on their, on their butt bars now. So it's really easy, you just hit up, it's gonna come out of that latch, easily go out of the way. And then if you wanna relatch it, it easily just drops back in that ball and joint. It's really slick, it's really efficient, and it's really gonna help keep you and your animals safe while you offload, especially if you're running that butt bar setup on a rear of a horse trailer. I'm gonna shut this door for you guys, to give you guys a better view of that silver metallic running down the side of this trailer. It's a really slick color and it really looks good on our stock combos for some reason. I like it way better on the stock combos than I do the horse trailer. I don't know why, I just think it's a really slick look on these stock combos. Up front underneath this trailer, it is just a standard crank jack, hand crank manual single drop shoe. We can not upgrade these easily to an electric over hydraulic jack. Um, if you were going any bigger on a stock combo, if you're getting a 26 foot or a 28 foot or thinking about ordering one, I would definitely order one with a hydraulic jack. That 24 foot's kind of that fine line to where it's still pretty easy to jack up for you guys. The jack Cimarron uses, they're really smooth. They operate probably better than any manual jack I've operated before. Um, it's a really slick product, but again, we can up upgrade those to those hydraulic jacks for you guys through our shop if that's something you wanted to do. Then again, there is that spare tire and matching wheel to the rest of the tires and wheels on this trailer. So again, you have a blowout, have a flat, that is gonna be a matching wheel and tire. You're not gonna have to worry about throwing a steel wheel on this nice looking trailer. Then up here at the front, of course, all your typical safety features. You're gonna have your safety chains, your breakaway cable, and then of course your two and five sixteenths B&W coupler with your adjustable screws and your uh, pin. Thing I wanna point out, um, when Cimarron does their front ends, they kind of they work with B&W. This is actually an old style. They are coming out with a new style that they have made with B&W. The thing I like about these pins that we don't talk about hardly ever on these videos is a big problem with the old school style B&W hitches or any hitch really. When you go to latch them, there's not really a good place to lock these trailers down so they can't be stolen. You either have to buy a hitch lock, something like that. But they went ahead and they cut it to where you can lock this trailer down, put a padlock right on your hinge that way this trailer is locked shut. No one can hook onto this trailer. You don't have to worry about anyone being able to steal your trailer. And you don't have to worry about buying, you know, bulky stuff that's gonna hang off this trailer to kind of lock it. It's a really cool B&W hitch um, they put on these trailers. And I'm really excited about the new ones to show you guys once we start getting those in as well. Something I wanna finish off on is even though these are brand new trailers, a lot of dealerships will get these trailers in, sell them right off their lot when they get there from the factory. We bring them in, we run a multi-point inspection on them through our shop. So even though it's a new trailer, we understand that, you know, Cimarron's building tons of trailers, so they're gonna miss things here and there. We run them through our shop, we fix whatever they missed. 99% of the time they don't miss anything, but that 1% can really cause customers, you know, a headache down the road. So we wanna make sure you guys are getting a top of the line quality new trailer. So we just quality control them that third time. They quality control them a couple times at Cimarron before we get them to them. And on top of that, if there's anything over 25 foot you buy from us, used trailers are all aligned. Anything over 25 foot or 26 foot, um, on our new side, we will also put an alignment on as well. So you can be confident you are getting a great quality, whether it be this trailer brand new or a used trailer, you are gonna get a great quality trailer when you buy from TransWest. If you're interested in this trailer, our stock number for this trailer is 5N221510. Again, it's a 23 Cimarron Lone Star stock trailer, 24 foot combo. If you're interested in this trailer, any other trailers we have on the lot, or you wanna talk about some features we talked about today in this video, or possibly upgrading your trailer with some features that are on this trailer, feel free to give me a call. Again, my name's Tanner here at TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick. Phone number is 303-684-3409. Thanks for tuning in.